to have seen in today's video we're going to be talking about swatches, why they matter, why you kind of don't, and kind of the difference between different types of swatches and then a little demonstration of it. If you guys are curious, there is a hair in my face. I am wearing the Bellamy X Mikey Lamagore wig in the shade Clarice, or the style Clarice. I want to get Reagan and um, Carrie. I don't have either of those. It keeps selling up before I can get to it. I was going to try getting it later. I'm not used to these yet, so this doesn't look perfectly blended. That's why I will fix it later. I'm still getting used to the style wig. I've done other style wigs. I just haven't got used to this style. And I also have not used heat to make it stay on this side of my face where I'm used to it. If it gets to be bothering me, We'll switch it to the other side, which is where it's currently set to. I'm just using everything on my right side, even though my right side of my face is my favorite side of the face. Why I cover up my hair, I don't know. That's pixie, in case you're wondering. So, what do I mean by why swatches sometimes just don't matter? Well, it's because most people or brands do quote unquote the perfect swatch, and I've been subject to doing this as well, even on my own blog, and I apologize for that. It's bad practice because it just doesn't show off the correct how it's going to perform. You can actually tell it slightly from the swatch, but you can't tell it when the swatch is, this is no like, this one I just love the aesthetic of her blog, her blog, her Instagram, her Instagram, I love it. And it's just a perfect example of what I'm talking about. This is from Gandalf Sandwich. And it is this, um, I think milk cosmetics, which I don't think is relatively free, but they're just perfect swatches. They're more artistic in style. They're just, they don't give off like, I'm just on her Instagram because it's the one I only want to want to think of at the top of my head. They're just perfect swatches. They look perfect. They just show off basically exactly what's in the pan. So I'm going to do a few different swatches. Uh, one that I know swatches well, or performs well, anyways. Uh, one that I know is bad. And in my own blog post for this, I didn't show the correct swatches. I tried doing perfect swatches. I kept building it up so it looked good. And then one that I haven't swatched, and it's actually what's on my eyes today, which is Juvie's Place and Nubian 2. I have not swatched this. I don't know how I swatch. But they applied nicely, so... I'm going to swatch them and we'll show you that. I'll do each a perfect, a brush swatch, and a finger swatch for each of them. I'm just going to do a matte and a shimmer in each palette. And then we can kind of digest it from there. But I'm going to switch up where I'm standing. Kind of tape off my arm over where we're doing the perfect swatches. And we'll jump right into it. Alright, you guys can't really see it, but there's actually tape down here. And for the brush swatches, I'm using this Morphe brush here. It's just stained, but... So, we're going to start off with the quote-unquote palette that I know is pretty good, which is the ColourPop The Zodiac. I'm just going to take one matte shade in each one. I'm going to do Taurus as our matte. So, this is what a perfect swatch is. You just sit here and you build it up until it looks perfect before you remove the tape. So, perfect swatch. I'll clean up when I do that. And then, Pixie! All right, next I'm going to go in with the Pisces. Again, what quote-unquote is the perfect swatch, which is just sitting here and building it up, not actually paying attention to how it swipes across your arm. You just build it till it looks perfect. So, about there. It's actually really nice, but I just don't have it. Okay, so there's quote-unquote a perfect swatch. They don't tell you anything. Besides what's exactly in the palette. Good for an artistic look. Not good for telling how the, the, the eyeshadow performs. So I'm just going to re use the same fingers I used before. So I'm just going to put it on my finger. Then. So there is Taurus. Which you can see it's very pigmented right when you put your finger down and then you just swipe. It's even throughout. There's no like streaking. There's no like patchiness. So you can tell that it's like a very good pigment. 
I would build it up, however, to get that full pigmentation, but you'll see that more in the brush swatches. So I'm going to take the Pisces, and similar thing. So close to the perfect swatch, but not perfect. I got the brush real quick. All right. So just seeing like three-ish swirls on on here. So we got the Taurus, and I'm just gonna do this one swipe down. Blow it off. As you can see, it's not having patchiness, and it looks almost like the blended out portion of our finger swatch. So good palette overall. And also, you can see how it's gonna apply. Um, going to Pisces, this is probably going to be the worst one. Um, again, just a few little pats. Just get some pigment on the brush. And then I'm just going to go one swipe down. So you can see, almost nothing shows up. And that's true with like any shivers. They're just not good to apply with a brush, but you can sit here and build it up and you can get some half radiation if you wet the brush it gets better but generally it's preferred to do it with your finger but that's what a good palette kind of swatches like I wouldn't say this is the best in the world but it's a good example so let me redo this and I'll show you a bad example and then we'll do yeah it's a bad example coming up next alright round two with the bad palette I'm using the same tape as before so I'm gonna try not to re-grab previous stuff but this one you see the bad palette. I do notice it's a bad palette because it doesn't swatch well. So um, we'll do a matte and a shimmer. Perfect swatches first, of course. You can see I'm kind of digging in. So here's pigment. <laughs> so blue. I'm gonna work on getting this somewhat decent. For the perfect swatch. Okay. So there's perfect swatch one. Here is perfect swatch two. I don't think that was even the bad shade. I'm gonna go with the bad shade. I know there's bad shade. Because I remember it. Because it gave me so much problems. And I thought I would just edit around it. Make it look somewhat decent. I shouldn't have, but I did because I wanted to show you that. That's the shame. I don't know why. It just bothers me. But you can't see here because, of course, I'm doing the perfect swatch. So, let me take off the tape. We'll do some finger swatches. Next time I do a screen tape. Okay, perfect swatches. <laughs> two two little things. I'm just gonna show you guys. This guy. See that? <laughs> it's just nothing. It's the same pressure I used with the, like when I did the ColourPop one. I just touch and go down. That one's not as bad, but it's not great. And then blue. Not too bad, but you can see this guy's like shit. <laughs> this guy's got like a weird streak down the middle and then kind of gets patchy throughout it, whereas the color pop wasn't doing that. And this guy, it's kind, it's not doing patchiness, but what is that? <laughs> it's bad. So I call it the bad palette. I didn't give it a positive review. Um, we need brush washes, so. <laughs> Can't be non I gotta do the brush was. Clean the brush, clean the brush. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna do this one and this one. Since you can kind of see that one. This is the example of a really bad one. So, one, two. See, I have pigment. Ain't not too bad. It's actually better than my own, than my finger swatch, to be quite honest. Just not good. All the pigments here, and then it's like nothing there. And then shimmer is probably gonna look a lot like the Wop one, where it's just not good. So, expectations 
reality. I don't know what happened there. That one is the same thing. I use the same pressure, so I don't know. If I call it that, Alex, I don't like it. Like these shades are gorgeous, but oh my goodness. I shouldn't be getting that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna tape up my arm and we'll do the last palette just to, sh to figure out how it wants to look because that's what I'm wearing. Taped up. Alright. So I'm gonna go in with this palette. We're gonna take the shades Morocco and Egypt. I have not played with Egypt, so. Might as well. Actually, we'll do Madagascar in Egypt because I did play with those guys, these guys on my eyes. So we'll swatch him. Just so it's a little different. It's going to where love is in focus. Can't remember where my arm was. I think it's right there. Okay. Perfect swatch. Um. I'm going to remove the tape after I do the finger swatch. Same finger. Pretty good. Not bad. Not the greatest, but not bad. Alright, Egypt. It's perfect swatch. Feels like butter. I love it. My tape job is not the best. Alright, then finger swatch. Pretty good. Not really patchy. So that's nice. Time to do brushes. So make sure my brush is clean real quick. I think it is, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, all good. Okay. Here. A few taps on the thing. Here's Madagascar. You guys can do it a few times. I actually just wiped, wiped it on a uh, makeup remover <laughs> pad. So that might, it's not really a fault of the thing. But, you can see it goes to it like that. I'm going to get a different brush. <laughs> I was trying to use the same brush, but I failed. Or I could just clean it again and try it again. Let's do that. I'll just clean it and then try again. And not put on the makeup remover, because that <laughs> destroys my swatches. I am putting brush cleaner on it. And I'm just touching the back of my hand just to make sure it's dry. This time, I'm not going to wipe it off of my makeup remover. Okay. Madagascar. A few pads in the thing. I'm going to go right here. Yeah, I still need to do a few layers for it to do that. Because just one swipe down doesn't do much. So, okay. See? This is why we, we chest. Sometimes it's different than what the finger swatch would reveal. This one reveal it looks somewhat fine. In reality, you get to build it. Not bad, just different. Here comes Egypt. Brushes loaded. I'm just gonna do one swipe this time. Okay, that looks like a finger swatch, and that was with the brush. I like that. I'm gonna do just a few passes. Okay. No way. I applied the shimmer today with a with my finger like I normally do. But oh my goodness, that looks almost identical to that. And I didn't wet my brush. It's the same brush that I've been using. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Shimmers and these are awesome. Um, mats have to be built up. Not bad. Built nicely. Not patchy. Looks fine. But, see, there's, you can learn stuff from swatches. As long as you put in the brush swatches, which I always forget to do. Guys, right, so I'm going to zoom back out and we'll clean this off my hand. So, yeah. And see, swatches can matter. Sometimes they're not completely accurate. Finger swatch on Juvia's Place, the matte shade. I don't know if it's just that one matte or what. I had to play around with them some more. This finger swatch wasn't exactly true to a one swipe with a brush, but with brushes you sit and blend and play with. So it does get up to the blended out version of a finger swatch, like towards the end part of the, toward the, end part of the trail, so down here-ish. If that was your swatch. Um, so, I mean, it is accurate, and you can see how it plays. Unlike this guy, who I'm still mad about that shade. 
I think there's more than just that one shade that pisses me off. I think there's also this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade. I'm going to use... Nice swatches. Nice swatches. <laughs> what? Um, so you can see, like, this is a not a great palette. Could you get it up to what a uh, perfect swatch is? Yes, if you pat it with your finger over and over and over and over again, layer it a bunch of times, sand the brush. You have to really work at this palette if you want to make it work, which is sad. And I, and I got this palette because I wanted some of these shades, like this shimmery green here, this pink. The gold's not too bad. I'll give it that. But I wanted something fun, and it just kind of let me down. But this guy has never let me down. At least. I do think um, the Pisces here is a little bit chunky compared to all the other shades in this palette, which is why I did that one for the swatch, just so you guys can see that. Um, but it does perform beautifully. I love this palette. I think it's, it, like you can tell from the swatches, it's not bad. Um, I have learned that if you use a natural hairbrush, because I don't use those, ColourPop shadows just don't work the best, but they're also tested with synthetic brushes because it's cruelty free. TBD. <laughs> I'm more saying that because I'm still unclear about the whole they're selling online in China thing, which is a way of bypassing it. I just don't know how I think I feel about that yet. Because I don't, I'm just, I'm having a moment where I don't want to cross this off. I don't know how I feel about that because a lot of my collection is clear up, so I don't want to get rid of it. Basically, joining me in my lap because she's barking at dogs out the window. And I, what are you doing? <laughs> Pigs. Well, wonderful guest host here. This is why I never zoom out. This is what she does to my bed constantly. <laughs> I'm going to switch how I do filming. And I can't wait till I move with this one. So... We have a filming setup corner. Pixie. Are you going to be active host or are you going to... You want a bugger? You want to be a bug? Okay, go on the bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're gone! <laughs> but, I'm going to switch it up. It's just because right now I'm in the hair closet and there's nowhere else in my house where I could film and leave my setup, so... I do want to switch it up, I just can't at the moment, which bothers me, but I do plan on getting a better background, because I know this is not the greatest of backgrounds, and because I can't watch videos while I'm editing for volume, I'm going to take out all background music. Not that any of this has to do with swatches, I just feel like sharing it. I had something wearing my teeth look yellow, or it's a slip tick, I don't know which, because they're not yellow. Um. I'm not rambling. I should go now. Okay. Swatches. Can be helpful. Cannot be. Depends on what type of swatch you're looking at. Brush swatch, finger swatch, or perfect swatch. Perfect swatches aren't perfect swatches. They're fake swatches. Okay. I think that's all I had to say. Um, I'm by no means the original ideal maker of this type of thing. I purely got the idea off of looking at a bunch of pictures on Instagram and watching Dave Charles's um, video where he did swatches and he over swatched where he already had swatched to make it look better which is basically making a perfect swatch which isn't bad it's just not gonna be a good representation of what a swatch could do or what how the eyeshadow is gonna perform so you can tell a lot from swatches if it's not a perfect swatch and you have a close-up of it and you can see it. It's far away, you can't tell anything because you wouldn't be able to see it in the picture or the video unless you like super zoomed in and they had like perfect quality. Um, so yeah, swatches can matter, but also they can't. So it just depends on what type of swatch you're looking at. I'm rambling again. I need to go. Hope you guys have a good day. If you did, have, 
If you, ah, I need to stop doing that. I hate the outro. I'm leaving all this in because bloops. We're leaving bloops in because why not? <laughs> At least in this video. Yes. She just put her hand in my hand because <laughs> it was sitting on the bed. Um, if you guys like this video and want more random types of videos like this, let me know in the comments down below and give this video a pause up or a thumbs down. Let me know you don't like it. That's fine too. You also gave me a view, so I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I don't give it anyway. So, I do this for fun. Um, yeah, subscribe to the Hell Pack, and I'll see you guys all in the next video where hopefully I'll, I won't be rambling as much. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll see you then.